Hello, today is Thursday, June 24th. I'm Tracy Anderson and let's talk about some markets. So let's start with the beef market and man, is it about time. Other than ground beef, market overall is finally, finally moving lower. Last week, the harvest was 663,000 head, which was about par with the prior week's 665,000. We should see numbers of 650,000 and higher other than the Independence Day holiday week coming up for the next few weeks. This very welcome increase in production is helping fill what was honestly a throttled pipeline. Better pricing is coming and we should see this continue into July. The holiday may slow things a bit, but the overall tone of this market is lower. Now looking at pork, last week bellies had a one day drop of $48. But over the next two days, took pretty much all of that back. Then this Tuesday, another drop, this time $59. This drop is driven by some major export orders being canceled and putting all that product destined for foreign shores back onto the market. The rest of the pork complex seems to have hit that wall, and I think some buyer pushback is finally having results. While not moving down, butts have stopped moving higher, still tight, but I do think we have better days ahead with pork. Another market with an overall lower feel. Now let's look at chicken and hatch rate is holding at 80%, still down historically, but improving. With all that good news, chicken prices continue to moderate on the fresh market. Boneless, skinless breasts and even wings are showing available and lower pricing. Tenders continue to be an issue both in fresh and processed areas. I'm thinking we got through the worst of the chicken front. Labor issues continue and as product starts to show up, hopefully, so will employees to process it. Now let's look at grains and a bit of rain. An update on corn planting added 2 million more acres to the corn estimate. Drought along the Mississippi River is causing concern, but so far has not pushed pricing up. Corn closed at 6.65 a bushel, down from last week's 6.99. There is some optimism that some export orders will be reduced or canceled. Additional canceled exports in soy have moved this market slightly lower too. Neither move changes the dynamic of our current grain markets, but a little relief is welcome. And finally, looking at dairy market, and we are lower overall. Through Thursday on the CME, barrel is down 13, block down two, and butter down six. There continues to be plenty of raw material, and while I still don't see much more downside to this market, I'm not expecting a surge up anytime soon. Okay, how cool is that? Everything's looking better for summer, at least from the operator standpoint. Like all of us, they could use a break. Thanks for listening, and let's do it again next week.